Hey guys, welcome back to Nier Automata. The last time that we left off, we had gone back to the amusement park and we fought Simone again. Honestly, that part of the game was so beautiful and it really was just like a smack in the face. You know, I was having a good time. Obviously, it was still a good time, but y you get what I mean. Like, I was just kind of going with the flow of battling and then all of that heaviness hit me at once and it was just so emotional. Like, I just felt so sad about that and I'm looking forward to more parts of that in this game because I just I love games that really make you feel something that there's an ad, that um, you know it, it like means something because it's memorable I do know that um, I need to practice hacking a little bit more I need to do the arcade mode and just try to get used to it because I suck at it and I know I suck at it um, and there's no way really around it. I just need to work on it to be honest, but yeah, let's just get back into it guys Okay, so we are in Pascal's village It's been a minute since I played. Oh, yeah, I have this new weapon now. Oh So Yeah, this is like very interesting. I'm excited to use that on someone. Yes, let's talk to... what I do? What? Can I hack into them? Um, you know, we already have something of a relationship with you androids. In fact, I'm hoping you can take this to an uh, anemone and the resistance camp. What is it? It's a fuel filter that she requested, yeah. If you take it to her, it should make it clear that we're peaceful. All right. We're running more errands. Um, some were saying there is a robot here that matches the description of... Um, matches the description of stuff. Er... Ah, Jean-Paul. It matches the description of who Simone was talking about. Why does it say that? Was it that robot? Or is it somebody else? Now I kind of feel like I need to find them. Where is... This... Oh! What just happened? Oh! Wait. Yeah. Um... That's another thing. In the comment section, a lot of people are saying I'm not using the right analog stick when I'm hacking. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. Uh, I really have no idea. Um, it, might be it might be because I'm trying to lock on. And maybe locking on isn't the best method. Oh, is this the person? You look... Existence precedes essence. Um, man is nothing else but what he makes of himself, additionally. Are you? Um, hello? Is this who? Yes, and you are? Wait, do not tell me. I have already deduced that you are here to listen to me expound upon the great mysteries of existence. Well enough, let us begin by discussing the concept of extensual extensual Existentialism. Existential. Ex existentialism. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Essence and existence are two sides of the same coin. And yet, what is existence? I'm glad you asked. To answer that, will require many long hours of. This is pointless. Um. Ball like machine. There's no point in talking to Jean Paul. We stopped trying to figure him out a while ago. This is the asshole. All he does is spout about a, a bunch of mumbo-jumbo, something called philosophy. If you're curious about him, you'll have better luck talking to his followers. They tend to use smaller words at least. This guy has followers? More like fans, I suppose. But yes, there are quite a few out there who buy what he's selling. Don't ask me why. Some folks just get into that sort of thing, I suppose. There's even one Jean-Paul follower right here in this village. Mm-hmm. You know, the machine with the thick paint on her face, that's the one. Aww, because it 
it's happening again. He's doing it to someone else. Melancholy accepted. So, um, because people were kind of saying, like, obviously, yes, I, in my opinion, it's not a spoiler to tell me that maybe Jean Paul has something to do with why Simone was away. Because, in all honesty, as like a Let's Player, the chances of me getting to this side quest, and like, yeah, it's just slim. So, I appreciate that you guys told me. Now, if it's a side quest you want to see me do, like it's interesting enough to see me do it, then I'll do it. Can I go down here? I mean, I kind of want to know. I kind of want to know. I'm going to talk to her. Or him, I don't know. Hello, can we ask you a question? Do you happen to know a machine named Jean-Paul? I certainly do. Master Jean-Paul is a genius. You can rely on him for absolutely anything. Are we talking about the same Jean-Paul here? In fact, I was just thinking about how much wisdom he has to teach me, so I wrote him a letter asking for guidance. You'll take it to him, won't you? Huh? I can't let that lady in the desert get to him first, or that harpy in the amusement park. Aww. Great, there are more of these weirdos. There's someone in the desert? And wait, they have genders? Now I gotta- yes, I have to go back. I mean, he's right here. Jean-Paul, you asshole, come here. Have you learned a bit about Jean-Paul now? Not really, no. Uh, no, him. Hello? Ah, oh, yes, I see. Dreams are the mind's version of reality perfected. Hey, Jean-Paul, we have a delivery for you. Ah, oh, allow me to see it at once. Interesting. A letter, is it? A female machine asked us to deliver it to you. She said she could rely on you and that you know pretty much everything. Yes, yes. Now, if I may, do you believe that existence precedes essence? Uh, existence precedes essence? What? Um, is this about the letter? No. <laughs> right, but shouldn't you maybe respond to the letter? Is one duty bound to reply to every question spewed in their direction. If such is your claim, then what power was it who placed this burdensome yoke about my neck? I mean, what's my duty to answer your stupid question? <laughs> this is a waste of time. You got that right. Uh, that was it? Oh ho, have you come to hear my lecture as well? I'm good, thanks. Wow. So I would have to go talk to more people. Um, let me down. Is this it? Yeah, let me down. <laughs> um, okay. So let's go back. Oh, we can't... We can't teleport yet. Darn it. Well, we'll just run there. Where am I? There we go. We go back. So he's like some philosopher, but he, he, uh, we know that it's a little bit more, I mean, yeah, he's based off of a historical character that I'm just not that great with history and everything, but, um, we can get into the city ruins if we move that box, but he's trying to talk to us in the game. Can, no, not you. Mm -mm. How do we move this? Come on. TB, you're gonna get crushed. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's hiccups. Operator 210 to 9S. Yes? This is your regularly scheduled contact. I have something important to discuss with you today. What is it? Our maintenance team filed a complaint oh. about how you treat your flight unit. They requested that you cease making unauthorized Wait, modifications. Can I walk on? Well, I kinda had to. There's so much excess data sent to me from the satellite, it's delaying aim correction. If you have a rebuttal, you need to discuss it with maintenance. Fight it out if you must. Operator 210, out. Ah! I was, like, trying to listen to her. Jeez. What? My operator's more prone to violence than I thought. Huh. So, that's another thing you guys were pointing out. I, I said she was acting weird. 
And she definitely is. Like, 2-1-0 or... Did they say 2 one or is it 20 one I'm just going to say 2 one because it sounds better. I think they just said that. But, um... She's acting weird in the messages she was sending me. You guys were kind of like, I think she just wants to talk. And maybe that's why she just got a little bit, um... Why she sounds a little bit aggressive. Maybe she just wants to talk and she's feeling, like, conflicted. I don't know. That was a new enemy, though. It kind of looked like an animal. Say, Anemone, I've got a package for you from a machine called Pascal. A fuel filter. Ah, perfect timing. We were running low. Wait, you met Pascal? Sure did. You've been consorting with machines, huh? Just the ones in the village. They're totally harmless, and they also have the means to construct intricate devices that we can't. In exchange, we provide them with oil and other materials. I guess you'd call it a form of commerce. I see. Anyway, if you're headed back there, please take this high viscosity oil to Pascal. Thanks. Here it is. So, after six seconds of not taking damage, restore 1.2% HP per second. So, that sounds smart to me right now. And, yeah. Let's just get going. I haven't done really anything this episode. I'm just distracted <laughs> by, like, a bunch of other stuff. I'm, like, a little torn on whether I should do the side quest this episode and then the story... Um, I need to do the wandering couple for sure and a Mills side quest because I did the wandering couple with 2B off camera but not with 9S and I remember kind of feeling like why are we doing what we're doing with them you know we killed them I'm so fast. Here you go. Oh wait, no, you're upstairs. Here you go. Oh, you brought me some high viscosity oil. Just kind and understanding if only all androids and machines could live together in peace like this. Never gonna happen. I guess not. I'd appreciate it if you could help out some of the other machines as well though. Okay. After all, the only way to understand someone is to get to know them. What's to be doing? Right? Fair enough. What's she doing? Oh, oh yeah, this is when this is happening. Oh wait, no, it didn't just. What's that noise? No, did it? Operator to 9S, emergency transmission incoming. We've detected a Goliath-class enemy inside For the city fuck's ruins. For sake! Did I just miss my side quest opportunity by forms. giving him oil? All your oil. members are ordered to engage at once. A Goliath? Ugh. This was a trap. I knew it. I'm a little I irritated. You, we were not aware of this information. I realize the odds of you believing me are strikingly low, but I hope you will nonetheless. We'll sort it out later. Let's go. Um, I don't remember where the heck Check he's your at. Map data. Operator out. Thanks, operator. Well, to wait, me. why is it saying to Command go Command is here? deploying new flight units for us. They just okay. set the coordinates, so let's get going. On it. All right, now we go this way. We probably shouldn't get near that guy's feet. Yeah, no. Let's find another route. Yeah, we're gonna go back. Um, through here. The flight units should be on the roof of that building up ahead. It'll be dangerous, but we're not going anywhere unless we pass through that Goliath's legs. We should be careful. Can I go up and over, or no? I can't go through here? Oh, <laughs> Not again, no! I keep doing the belly flop thing. There we go, we're good now. We're on the right track, and I just keep hitting all these bushes. Hmm. I'm gonna 
just go up here. <laughs> Continue. Central wiring hub. Do I hack you? Can I hack you? Oh no, I'm scared. Oh, it's that simple? Whoa. Maybe because it's his arm? Whoa. It might hack him. There we go. Cool. No. Okay. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't try to lock on so much. Oh my god. That was like instant. That scared me. Yeah, it's his arms. We're disabling those. No more. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh no, two more! Fuck. No. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! There we go! We did it! That was like easy hacking though, so... What is all this plus one thing? What is all that? That was crazy. Enemy anti-air defenses are on patrol at higher altitudes. A low altitude approach is recommended. Got it, thanks. Yes! I don't remember what I do here. Wait, oh yeah. What you shooting at? Oh. Oh! Jeez! Can I hack him now? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hack him! Am I- What's going on? There we go. So sensitive. So sensitive. Yeah, like when there's when there's only one target, locking on is actually a lot better, but when there is a ton of them, it just doesn't work out as well. I 
locked in. Come on. There we go. Ooh, I was just getting blown up. Dodge, 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 dodge. just hacking target enemies offline that should do it for the Goliaths look out it's recharging I wonder what's gonna be different here enemy vibrations are growing in intensity it's resonating in tandem with the area beneath the combat zone. <laughs> yep. Blew a big old hole what in the, the freaking world. Unbelievable. Oh yeah. The aliens who haven't revealed themselves this is in when hundreds we meet of years. Adam and Eve. We're hiding underground? Um, again. And they talk to us. I'm pretty interested to see how this is gonna be different, for sure. Um Yeah. Last night I was like have you guys ever had really intense foot cramps? I have a mosquito bite in it. It's just really bad. But like such a bad one, it woke me up. I don't know what I did. I have no idea, but I must have like moved my foot a weird way and I woke up and I was like freaking out. The cramp was You're so up. bad. This is your commander. For the first time in centuries, we've intercepted a signal belonging to the aliens. Oh, great. These are Look the creatures those. that are in direct command of the machine life forms on this planet. If we can destroy them, oh. we can end this long and arduous war once and for all. The side Our intel back, team though. is hard at work attempting to analyze the source of the signal, but we're not... Hold on, hold on, lady. Give me a second. Yeah, I don't know what all those Here are, yet. though. We need more data. All Yorha units are hereby ordered to prioritize data collection above all else. We can't let this chance slip through our fingers. Glory to mankind. I used command's data to determine the signal source and marked it on the map. But it seems to be underground. Like, way underground. Guess we'll see once we get there. Um... If we're lucky. You're not much for plans, are you, 2B? I guess we'll go do that and then do side quests a different time. I really have no idea. Because I remember that Emil doesn't really show up until we go to the forest. And we haven't done that yet, so... I don't feel like there's a super rush now that I think about it. So let's just go see what Adam and Eve want to talk to us about. Oh. No, no, no! Oh. This is like... I'm gonna get my butt whooped, aren't I? Well, this time what I have a bunch this? of chips, so... Analysis. It is a cave-in caused by the collapse of an open space underground. Oh, but what I was saying... Why is there such a huge cavern beneath the city? When you get a foot cramp, like, push on your foot, you gotta squeeze it. Otherwise, it's just gonna keep getting like more and more intense. It was really painful. That's a weird looking enemy. Yeah, I want nothing to do with that. Mm -mm. Stop it. The ground is caved in. Can you in. stop? There must have been a hollow down there this whole time. He does like a little backflip. Okay. Let's go ahead and retrieve your body. Thank you. And... Pick this up. We should... 
Why didn't I save? What was I thinking, you guys? This hallway looks pretty old. What am I using right now? Oh, that thing? So it like knocks him in the air. Interesting. I'm still trying to figure out how it works. Sweet! Oh my god. You guys freaked me out. Where are you going? Um, let's switch weapons. I want to compare. Oh, that was a lot quicker. Well, I mean, it had less health, but whatever. I can't see! I can't see! I don't know. Where is it? Is it gone? This area is so tiny. Alright, let's go talk to them. Whoop! Let's go. Look let's at all go. these dead machines. Seems like they've been here for a long time. This feels much darker. Ah, uh, it's because I didn't close the blinds, you guys. Oh, hold on. Cool. A little bit better. I'm just uncomfortable. Okay. What is Let's this place? Let's go see what they say know. that's different. There's nothing like it in the database. I'm so itchy because this mosquito bite. I feel like I'm gonna freak out. It's on my elbow. Are they? I just. Dead? To be. Huh? Look. I want to know what's going on. Destroyed alien motherships. Welcome <laughs> to the graveyard of our creators. Hello. It's nice to see you put pants on. Are you gonna just insta fight me this time, or can we talk about it? You're gonna fight me. You. To be. Look out. My <laughs> Aren't you quite the pair? Perhaps we can discuss our current situation. My name is Adam. I wasn't supposed to hit him yet. The aliens you seek are no longer here. Okay. They were wiped out centuries ago by us, the machines. Mm -hmm. Wiped out? And who knows? Perhaps we'll wipe out the androids next. Machines are weapons capable of evolution. We can grow. We can become aware. Eventually, the intelligence within our him? network began to surpass <gasps> that of our creators. I can hack him? You'd hack him, hack him, hack him, hack him. What happens? Oh, Jesus. Shit! I really want it. You destroyed I your want own it. Creators? Oh, there's no need to fret about them. They were simple. Infantile. Wait, Almost oh, he like moved. plants, I guess you'd say. They held no value to us. But the humans Wait, it's not working moved. anymore? Now they are I don't understand. Why that? Because they Why can't I hack you? Up. There we go. They killed un Get it. Yes. What happens? Anything? It's fascinating, don't you think? What? what could possibly drive such behavior? Ah, I almost died. No, 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 no. I can't 
get away from that when that happens. Oh, there's two. Oh, no. Yes! We have dedicated and ourselves to unraveling this riddle of humanity. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. For fuck's sake. I'm not gonna get this one. Maybe I am. No! And now I we want him. allow you to assist us. You were made in their come image on. after all. Hack him! You with what? It's simple. We need you to locate. Oh, jeez. I'm dead. Oh, it makes me so angry. We will then dissect and analyze them in order to drag their secrets Come on, forth into uh, the I gotta light. get it. Surely. I know I'm getting hit. What a trick! What bullshit! It looked like it was easy and then it wasn't. I don't know. Are you guys. Insane? We'd never do that! There's nothing to hide behind! Just keep going in circles, I don't know. Yes! No! <laughs> Can you believe For this to be? For sake, I'm going this to do this. Bonkers. I swear to God, if it's the last thing I try to do. <laughs> Who would have thought that hacking would be so competitive? This one's crazy. This one's absolutely insane. No way. No way. The only remaining option is to destroy you. The same way we... can <laughs> Up with this. Fuck. Okay. Yes. Did they get anything for that at all? No. Nothing special. I really wanted like a good story. Time saying. grows short. Well, whatever. Year, At least I'm trying. This is the fate that befell our creators. Yes. As for your beloved humans, I guess we'll see, won't we? I just got so angry trying to do that. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Did you see that? They're gone. There was a lady standing there, and she was wearing like a dress or something. The aliens were already dead. Yeah. We better get back to the bunker. What was that? No, what was that? I didn't just see, like, nothing there. There was something there. Well, that's weird. Like, really, really weird, isn't it? Back this way again? What a pain. Stop complaining. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I feel like the camera has stopped. Okay. this is Operator 6-0. We now have an operational transporter in the city ruins. We're attempting to deploy them at other points as well. So now I can time teleport. We had access to those. Hi, Luke. Care to fill me in? Transporters? They let you transfer your consciousness to a temporary body back in the bunker. I heard some tech guys talking about it a while ago, but I didn't know they'd finally got it working. Hey, what's you how's doing? It hanging? Oh, you, you want me to get... try the fish? Your commander told me you. to build a new act. Oh, oh no. I, um, okay. I've known the next I know. time. You Gotcha. So this has a transporter now. Still, transporters are pretty handy. Yes, we need They're it. They're way faster than flight units when it comes to traveling between Earth and the bunker. Flight units also leave us open to attack, and they're expensive to operate, too. All right. Let's save it. And then... Man, what do I want to do? That was weird. Why was that lady there? I want more of this story, you guys. I want to know... Everything. Oh, there's more. Yes. I killed my father. Um, okay. That's not I good. killed my mother. I killed my father. I killed my mother. And in his hand, he coldly gripped both the joy of 
growing up and the agony of being alone. What? What? Did Ninus kill his family? But he did. Do you have a family? Doesn't. I don't know. I have no idea. I killed my mother. That concludes our report on the events surrounding the alien wreckage. Then they were dead this whole time. The Council of Humanity needs time to formulate a plan. Woo, Until hot. then, this information must be kept confidential. Okay. Speak of it to no one. Of course. Your next mission is to gather additional intel on the individual known as Pascal. You mean that freaky machine we ran into? This order comes directly from the Council. Knowledge of such unique individuals is essential for the success of future missions. Understood. Okay, so that was strange. Really strange. I guess we could see if 21... Ooh, we got mail! Or 210. I love the mail. It's one of the best parts of this game. She's got to be in here somewhere. There's 60. Hey, welcome back. So, um, can you show me the new data you brought? Why is it? It asked me that, but then it doesn't. Operator. Operator. Where's 210? Oh. Is that her? <gasps> yes! Give me this. Um, operator, what are you doing? What am I doing? I am analyzing data. Is this part of your current assignment? No, it is merely a hobby. <laughs> Wait, really? The world contains a vast amount of data, coordinates, network node readings, photographic images, and so on. Analyzing this data can often lead to discovering new information. I spend my downtime seeking out such information. That seems kind of boring. I mean, no offense. It is more interesting than engaging in mindless banter. Hey! Still, there might be a way to make this chatter less mindless. There is a data terminal in the abandoned factory that I cannot access with our satellites. If you feel like helping, you can head over there and transfer the data to me. Wonderful. I'll send the coordinates at once. The terminal is kind of hard to find, so keep your eyes peeled. I'll let you know once I find it. Cool. And we're gonna have to go back to the factory anyway, so... We'll be able to do that for her. Man, the commander sure is a slave driver, huh? And now we have to go back to the city ruins. Hmm. Do we do that? Why don't we rest a little bit, 2B? It's been a while. I'll rest if I feel like it. Let's go to bed in your bed. Come on, 2B. Yeah, let's take a break. She's just gonna watch me. She's just gonna watch me take a nap. Yes. Yes. Is it? Does anything happen when you do that? Um, I wonder what- what can you buy here that's different? Small recovery... Nothing. I haven't bought stuff in so long. Transport. Where are we going? Resistance camp, I guess? Oh, she wanted more information on Pascal. Let's go... Talk to Pascal. Um... Oh, it's 9S and 2B, yes. Yeah. Those machines cost quite the ruckus, don't you think? We need to talk. Of yes. Of course. I'll help however I can. Um, is it, yeah, let's just ask about everything. We've all heard this stuff before, though. Yes, to me? Yes, to me? Pascal. Yes, to me? Aside from this village, are there any other machines that are cut off from- I suppose- You mean that- Oh, and of course, there's the Forest Kingdom. Forest yeah, Kingdom? Yeah, there it is. There's a group there quite- Where is it? Northeast, you should be if you go- This- Alright, so now we're back at the Forest Kingdom mission, which means we can also go see Emil. Um, I do think I'm gonna end up saving that for next time. 
feel like we didn't do very much this episode, sadly. We got like a very tiny, tiny bit of more information. Will you say anything else to me? Oh, there you are. Well, what did the master have to say about my letter? Actually, he said it wasn't worthy of a response. I knew it! Isn't he the greatest? I can't get enough of him. Well, they brainwashes him. You don't say. Nothing else? I won't let those other women beat me to the punch. I must write Master Jean-Paul a new letter at once. No. There's gotta be someone in the desert I need to find. But yeah. I'm going to end it here. I know that I can quick save anywhere near the thing. I just like clicking. Oh wait, we had an inbox. Yeah, what am I doing? Oh, the fish. Jackass, I don't want your fish. I know what happens when I eat that fish. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're gonna end it right here. We didn't get a ton done in this episode. I mean, it, it was like a pretty minor chunk, which is unfortunate. I was hoping that there was gonna be a little bit more differences in the story this episode just because I'm like fiending for it. We did get to see some weird stuff though, like minor flashes of weird stuff, as in what 9S just saw about killing his- I mean, it's probably not even him, I mean, I have no idea if it's him talking, but killing his mother, killing his father, it was really strange, I don't know what to make of it, and it keeps showing the same type of people every time these flashbacks happen. And then I swear, I swear I saw a lady in a red dress and she was just like, like a holographic or a hologram or something standing next to Adam and Eve, which I think is really weird. I, I don't remember that being there with 2B. That was totally the strangest thing I've ever seen. Um, I don't know if it has anything to do with hap or hacking or if it's just because it was 9S's version of what was going on. But there was somebody there, and I'm gonna have to like, go back through the edit and see what what was that. But yeah, in the next episode, I think what I'm gonna try to do is get a big chunk done. We're gonna go to the forest, we're gonna go fight, um, we're gonna find the Machine King or something or other and get to meet A2. We can probably start a mill side quest, and then maybe hopefully we can start the Wandering Couple one, which I need to figure out exactly where I need to go for that. But yeah, make sure to check out the links in the description, leave a like if you enjoyed, and thanks for watching guys.